Hi guys, it's Wednesday. Just got out of my pre-op. And they changed the time and everything else, so... We're gonna have to go, guys. We're gonna have... I get put on liquids for a while, too. Should be fun. How about... I get to have my teeth stuff, so I'm happy. And I love this stuff, so... Yeah. I drink chicken broth on like a daily basis, but anyways. So. But we're gonna go. We're heading down to the cemetery real quick, and then we're gonna. So I will give a shout out to you guys later. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome to Greenwood Cemetery. Uh, it was established in 1850, and it has contains. It, it has so many like people and you know there's numerous graves of Irish immigrants who died during the cholera outbreak of 1878 um, fugitive black slaves buried in here in 1886 um, But, uh, this is our oldest cemetery in the town, so hopefully I have a lot of time to show you guys, come on guys, to show you guys around just some of my favorite spots down here. This place isn't very big, it's actually very small, but, you know, this was like the first cemetery in this town, and we have some of the most beautiful monuments here, I mean, we have a mausoleum right there, and it's the only one in here. Um, I don't like the fact I'm stepping on people's graves right now. I feel bad, and I have a little bit more respect for them than that, you know, like. But the architecture on some of these are just absolutely beautiful. Like, you got what appears to be a mother. She's got no wings, so she's not an angel. You know, unfortunately, many of the graves here are damaged and have been burnt over the years because there's rumors that during the witch, witch hunt, a lot of them were burned and buried. Their ashes were buried here and their tombstones represented, their burnt tombstones represented that where the witches were. But this is like my favorite place to be in the world. <laughs> Um, I don't know whose grave this is, but it's the only one fenced William. in. Um, but it's the only one fenced in down here, and it's beautiful. I've had some professional pictures taken down here. Uh, me and my girls usually picnic, like, over by that tree that's over there, or we sit by the back fence over there. Um... I don't know how much I can show you guys because I don't know how much room I have on my uh, cell phone because my ca my camera's like kaputted. It's done. You know, you got, you know, some people don't know how to take care of the graves around here. So a lot of them are hidden, which is, is really sad, but, you know, even if, you know, distant relatives, you know, got lost through the years and whatnot, that, you know, like, look, like, this one's cracked, you can't even read it anymore, you know, that somebody still comes here to, you know, in their memory and that, you know, comes here to, you know, at least pay some respects. Like, you can tell nobody's trimmed the hedges here for a long time, you know, and... You know, they've seen a lot. It's a couple buried there. You know. See? You got a husband and wife here. You have mother, father, and daughter. daughter. And this one's so worn you can't even read it anymore, but it says daughter. So they had two daughters.
and that is a um that would be third generation yeah you see then we have stones like this they're just markers and this person here died at the age of 67 yeah Like, there's so many beautiful headstones here. Like, we're going to show you guys little bits and pieces. Even if I can't get it in video, I will take pictures of them because they are gorgeous. Like, this is, like, the quietest cemetery in the world. Like, I mean, I come here to be by myself. I come here to teach my daughters a value of life. You know, like, look at this one. This one is just gorgeous. You know, I want to teach my girls, you know, the value of, you know, life and what happens after we've gone, you know. We're, yes, we're buried in the ground, but, you know, we become a, some, a part of something bigger after that. And it's so sad that a lot of these uh, tombstones have become um, destroyed over the years. They have some workers in here today. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do, and I can only record up to like two minutes of a time on my cell phone. So, we're going to go down one of the paths. Like, this whole place just circles. Like, look. It just circles. All the way around. And you can tell nobody comes here anymore, because there's never any flowers or anything like that. You know... It's kind of sad. It's become, like, forgotten almost. You know? There's many soldiers and past mayors and elected officials in here. You know, something that meant something to the community as well. You know? It's not just families in here. But, you know, like... They take care of the place, kind of. The grass isn't green very much anymore, but, you know, like, you know, it's still, like, it's peaceful. Despite the, it's, like, uh, uh, one of the busiest intersections in our city, it's still quiet here, and it's peaceful, and, you know, my kids and I love coming here. My grandparents aren't buried here. They're buried in one of the other cemeteries. Actually, that's about a half hour walk from here. And we're not doing it today because it's too hot for that today. But... Um, here's all kinds. We're going to go down that path that way. Because eventually it's going to lead us back around. But, you know... There's been some recent burials here. You can kind of tell. I mean, really recent. And one was recently burnt, too, which is rude. And very, very freaking disrespectful. I can't stand that, you know. Once a person's dead, you know, you have to still have some respect for them. You can't go around and burn tombstones and knock them over and think it's not going to matter to anybody. I mean, you know, I think it was back in the I think early 1900s, maybe 1800s. Um, people used to picnic where their loved ones were buried, you know, and they would make it like an, uh, a yearly event so people could, you know, have a Dreams, falling like dismantled dreams. Me up to 